after a year of maintaining my custom music mod and adapting it to each and every game update, I've decided to release myself of the burden of making patches. I couldn't just leave you all without a way of adding custom music though, so I made this guide to teach you to install it yourself. I can't guarantee this guide will stay relevant forever, as the game's music system may be updated in the future. I imagine the comments section will let you know if this doesn't work. In the description, I've left a link to a text document containing all of the code you need alongside written instructions on how to install it, but since you're watching this video, you don't need to read them. You only need the code. Later on, I'll mention code that I've labelled. In the document, you'll find the labels in between parentheses. There's only one thing you're going to need, and it's a .NET decompiler. I use DNSpy. There are alternatives, but I believe DNSpy is most popular. Once you have DNSpy, we're ready to start. The first thing we're going to do is find the game's assembly c -sharp file. To find it, right-click Wrestling Empire in Steam, hover over Manage, and click Browse Files. Then go into Wrestling Empire underscore Data, Managed, and if sorted alphabetically, the file should be at the top. This file contains most of the game's interesting code, including the code we want to modify. Open DNSpy, and go to File, then Close All Files. You'll want to do this every time you open DNSpy, because leaving a bunch of things in this list here can cause problems when you go to apply your changes. Now let's open the assembly c -sharp file by dragging and dropping it onto the window. There's a key combination you're going to want to use a lot, which is Control, Shift, and K. This is going to bring up the search box at the bottom, which will let us essentially search the code. You should also take note of this drop-down button here. This lets us change the type of code we're searching for. You don't need to know what each of these options mean, just search for what I tell you to search for. Now use Control, Shift, and K to open the search box. Click the Type box and choose String. Now we're going to search for loading sound files. If this doesn't show any results, then the code has been updated at least a little bit, and you're going to need to find this code yourself. If there's a result, double-click it to go to the code. Now that we've found the code, we need to rename the class, which is basically a container for the code. Remember, everything is case-sensitive, so I'm sure you type everything as I type it. So just right-click the highlighted class in the entry list, Click Edit Type, and change whatever is in the name field to Sound Manager. Now we need to modify two things in Sound Manager. The first is the name of a number. As of this video, the number is 68. In the future, if there are more songs, then it will be higher. If not much has changed, you should have no problem finding it. It should be up here near the top. Right-click the text beside it, and once again, click Edit Field. We're going to change its name to num of themes. The second thing to change is the audio clip array. It should be close by and it should reference num of themes. Once again, right click, edit, and rename this to songs. Okay, now we're going to save what we've done. If we don't, the end spy will get confused and say some things don't exist as we go forwards. To save, simply go to file, save module. Time for something new. Copy the code labelled Modded Music. This contains the bulk of the mod's code. Right click anywhere in the left panel and click Add Class. Paste the code in and scroll to the bottom. I'd recommend changing current version to whatever is latest, probably 1.795. This should stop the out of date message on the main menu if you do it correctly. Now we need to do something specific. At the bottom left, click the folder icon. At the top right, search for asterisk web request. Once the search is finished, find unityengine.unitywebrequest audio module and unityengine.unitywebrequest module. Control click them both and click add. Now we should be able to compile. There can be a weird issue when trying this step multiple times. If you get an error about a parameter being unable to be declared, just copy and paste the code over everything and start this step again. Now, we're once again going to save. Click File, Save Module. Now we're going to find the Scene Titles class in the left panel. Okay, right click on the line with the very first opening brace and click Edit Class. Copy and paste the line, public static bool has loaded modded songs equals false to the right of the brace and click Compile. 
Now copy the code labeled Scene Titles Check. Right click anywhere in the first code block after it says Start and click Edit Method C Sharp or C Hashtag. Paste the Scene Titles Check code after the first opening brace after Start where I do it. Now let's go back to Sound Manager. We need to find and rename the function that actually loads and plays the music. Fortunately, we should just be able to use Ctrl and F, not Ctrl, Shift and K, and search for playing music. Right click the orange text on this line here, just after public static void, and click edit method, not edit method C sharp. Rename it to load theme. Within this code block, we need to find the audio source that emits the music. It's always been easy to identify for me, as it's the only line that has sound manager dot blah 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 dot clip equals down here. Easy enough to find. Right click it and click edit field. Rename this to theme AS. We're nearing the end now. We're going to modify the load theme function. Right click anywhere in its code and click edit method C hashtag or C sharp. Follow this exactly. Find int blah 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 here. Select this text by double clicking it and then press Ctrl and H. Not Ctrl and F, Ctrl and H. In this second box, we're simply going to type song, all lowercase. Now click the replace all button, furthest to the right, or press Alt and A. One last thing and we're done. We need to copy the code labeled load theme code. Once you've copied it, find the line in between the if else statement. Paste the code to the right of the closing brace here. And that's all the hard parts done. Compile and save module. The very last thing we're going to do now is just create a new folder. Back in the games folder, leave managed and go into streaming assets. Create a new folder and call it custom music. Now just put your music in there. From what I remember, MP3, WAV, and OGG files are ideal. Now just open the game, go into the editor, choose your song, and that's it. The game's code has changed so much that this tutorial is obsolete, then I can't help you as I don't plan on coming back to this mod in the future. The feature that this mod introduces shouldn't be left to a mod, but instead should be part of the base game. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks.